ServiceNow Technical Architect. Actually has a nice ring to it. Let's talk about it. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud. Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new on this channel, I share my journey in learning tech as well as building a career around what I'm learning. And in today's video, I'm going to explore the Certified Technical Architect Expert Program offered by ServiceNow. And we'll talk about what is the program, why I'm interested in it, and then my plans to get through this in approximately a year. So if you're interested and looking to advance your knowledge of ServiceNow, I think this is the program you want to check out. Let's take a look at the homepage and we'll dive into the material. Okay, so here we are at the homepage and I'll make sure to drop a link to this page if you want to check it out. There are two architect certification programs. One is the technical architect, which we'll be talking about today, but there's another one that's a certified master architect. And this one uh, requires a bit more in terms of experience with the platform. And I think you even have to demonstrate work as a partner with ServiceNow. But let's focus on what we came here for, and that's the technical architect. The first question that I had was, what is a technical architect? It involves understanding the business needs, and then what are the technical requirements in order to satisfy that need? Once you have established those two things, you're gonna just create plans that involve solving problems. One thing worth mentioning is that the technical architect evaluates different demands on the platform. So ServiceNow gets this rep that is just a ticketing system. ServiceNow has so much more to offer and connects so many important aspects of not only IT, but other business units. You have HR, you have customer service, you have facilities and building management. And it's important to understand how all those things work together, where the dependencies lie, how do you keep the platform running, and making sure that there's not too many competing demands that are causing a lot of technical debt. The next question is why should I get a technical architect certification? Now I can tell you why I'm going for it. You'll have to answer that question for yourself, but they do lay out some motivators. So the first one is better understanding of how ServiceNow can be the platform of platforms. So this is really about just understanding if you purchase ServiceNow for one thing, start thinking about how you can incorporate it for other solutions within your organization. Next one is an in-depth understanding of technical or platform governance processes. And governance is really huge. You wanna make sure that things are secure. Next thing is a deeper knowledge on how to integrate and orchestrate multiple systems and platforms. Integration is a really big deal. They even have an integration store in ServiceNow and understanding how to use those integrations is really important. The other benefit is strengthening your ability to solve complex business requirements with ServiceNow capabilities. So once you buy a product, what does that product feature have that you can use out the box? Beyond that, they have opportunities to boost your expertise, sharpen your technical acumen. And the one thing that I like a lot and that I'm really excited about is this right here. Mastering the art of presenting technical architecture solutions to project teams. So. There are a lot of folks you're going to be working with to drive change and drive the implementation of new products within ServiceNow. And every team hears things a little differently. So learning how to work with those different teams, project management, service desk, developers, the list goes on. It's really important. And the last one, which I think anyone in tech can stand to gain is designing Elegant and simple, emphasis on the simple solutions that make things better for your stakeholders. Can you communicate to HR? Can you communicate to directors? Can you communicate to the C-suite level of folks, the CEO, the CFO, the CIO, and let them see the value that this platform has to offer, especially if they're paying for it. Now, this program is offered or available to really anyone. So whether you're a ServiceNow partner, you're a ServiceNow employee, or you're a customer or client like myself, 
you can enroll in this program with some qualifications. So if we look at the qualifications here, you have the system administrator certification, this is the developer certification, and then you have two implementation specialist disciplines you need to have under your belt. Personally, I'm gonna be going after these two to start because I've worked in operations and then I transitioned to IT and having structure around these two things is so important. It's a three month program. And then within it, you have self-paced courses, you have cohort discussions, you have assessments you're gonna take and then some capstones and other components of it as well. Now, in terms of the curriculum, you have the cohort model, the flipped classroom model they're referring to here is basically saying, instead of going to the class to learn stuff, you will have already been exposed to the material before the class, and now you're actually applying what you learned. And then you have the capstone. So you're reviewing a case study, you're preparing recommendations, and then you're documenting solutions. And then there's also maintaining certification. There may be new releases of ServiceNow, but there's also probably new processes and capabilities that are more centered around the role of a technical architect. And aside from that, you have the process. So you have to register for the program, make sure all your certifications are up to date, and then they have a kickoff that prepares you a week before with certain work that you have to complete. And then you're going to attend a two hour live virtual session so that you're more familiar and oriented around the course. So that's the program in a nutshell. Those are some of the incentives and benefits of going through the program. And the last part for me is thinking about, okay, how am I going to prepare for this? Everyone has their own way of studying and learning material. For me, I like to share. So even though I'm not an expert in service now at the moment, the intent is for me to become one. In order to become one, being able to communicate what I'm learning and share things with you is really an important part of that. and. That's what I plan on doing with this channel. We're going to first start off with some of the basic stuff, like the Now Learning Platform, the Docs ServiceNow page. We'll also talk about how to create your own personal developer instance. Aside from that, I'll be giving updates and reviews on certain courses. So as you saw, there's a lot of certifications you need ahead of time in order to qualify for this program. And what I plan on doing is actually going back to the beginning. In July, I got my certification. But to be honest, I did as much as I could to remember the content without really understanding everything. So I want to start with the system administration curriculum. And I'm going to just review those courses here on this channel so that you have an idea what to expect and what kind of objectives are on the other side of those courses. And lastly, in terms of keeping myself accountable, I like to use two tools in particular. So let me go ahead and share my screen here for a second. So this is my Trello board. I usually create a theme. So when I was doing school at WGU, this was a nice big owl. Shout out to the night owls. And now I have service now to remind me what I'm focused on. And so generally what I do is I'll create an event. So let's just say SNFA. This is the certified or service now system administrator fundamentals. I think I spelled it wrong, but let's just say that's what I'm going after. I would create a description and then I will put due dates in here of when I plan on having this done by. So let's just say I have a plan to complete on June 30th and then I'll go ahead and save that. So now I have a deadline. And then if I wanted to, I can add a checklist of items that will help me arrive at this goal. So for example, enroll in course and then take exam review modules and so on and so forth. Now, the beauty of this is once I complete all this, I integrate it with my Pomelo application. And what happens is, let me go ahead and save this event here. I think it's already saved. Now, when I'm actually doing the work of studying, I turn this thing on and it's a timer. And then I look for my task. So this is the SNFA one. I'll select it and then I'll get to work. Now, when I'm working through my my tasks, I give myself about a 50 minute time frame and then I break every 10 minutes. And I've done some study with me videos if you want to check those out where I use this and I was going through school. But this is my method and it's tried and true so far. and I'm not going to deviate from it. 
So this is how I plan on preparing for this CTA certification. So that's really my process. I am looking to complete this within a year and I'm extending an invite to you if you want to join me on this journey. No matter where you're at in the process, understanding this ServiceNow platform, I think is a really good way to stand out. With that said, thank you for watching this video. If you watched at the end, definitely give a thumbs up, subscribe if you like the content and let me know in the comments if you're thinking about maybe pursuing this. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier. And remember, don't be hard on yourself. Just work hard on yourself. I think it'll be just fine. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud.